Okay, we're set up for another integrated experiment on a split-built treadmill. So this treadmill is special because not only does it let you run and walk at a fixed speed like any treadmill, it has force plates built into the platform here. And it has two belts so that each foot has its own force plate so we can independently record the ground reaction forces. So Hannah's set up here now with these tracking reference frames here and here. We still have on the anatomical reference frame markers, and she's also on her right leg equipped with the four EMG sensors that we had before. So what we're gonna go through is to look primarily at the ground reaction forces here. Ground reaction forces when she's walking, at the walk to run transition, during running, and then running on her forefeet, so kind of toe, toe landing on, on the running. So let's go ahead and uh, start the right. treadmill, set it at, let's say, roughly about one meter per second. And away we go. For Hannah, one meter per second is slightly lower than what she'd likely select as a self-selected speed. That would typically be a little faster than this, say at about 1.2 meters per second. So here we can see the right and left ground reaction forces for Hannah during walking. And you'll notice that typical double peak um, trajectory here. As um, she lands in the early stance phase, the ground reaction force actually dips below her body weight and then comes back up during push off. And you'll see how they're asynchronous between the right and left foot. So here we have the the four aft ground reaction forces. And you'll see the, um, the positive force here, which is breaking as her foot hits the ground, and then it transitions to a negative force, which is her pushing backwards as she's propelling herself forward. Now that's the opposite of what we typically show. It's just how the analog information is coming into our computer here. Typically we show the rearward forces as negative and the positive forces as pushing you forward, accelerating you forward, but that's just the way it's coming in from the data acquisition unit. Okay, so let's move up to a little bit higher speed. Um, so what are we going up to, Scott? About two meters per second Whoa, here. two meters per second. That's going to be right at the uh, walk-to-run transition speed. For here we Hannah. go. See if you can walk. See if you can walk at two meters per second. So you see that's as fast as she can possibly walk. She's working pretty hard. It does still look like walking. The ground reaction forces you can see are going up and down quite dramatically. Uh, and then you'll see a big shift when she goes to walk to run transition. So just a little bit more, maybe 2.2 meters per second. She probably, see if you can keep walking. And Ooh, we'll she's still walking a little bit faster. Ready for the Olympics. <laughs> she's breaking into a run now. Go ahead, uh, uh, check out the ground reaction forces. So here we have heel strike, and you'll notice this, uh, what we call an impact peak on the ascending limb of the ground reaction force, and that's when her heel hits the ground, and then it drops down a little bit, and then goes back up when her toe hits the ground. So we'll go ahead and have Hannah transition to a forefoot striking pattern, and you'll notice that that early stance impact peak entirely disappears, and we just have a single peaked um, ground reaction force profile. Let's turn up the speed just a little bit more. Okay, three meters per second, four foot strike. Let's see, a little bit of a impact peak there. But now, Hannah, can you convert to a rear foot strike? See, much more pronounced at this higher speed, this impact peak. So this is one of the reasons why people think running on your, uh, with a four foot strike pattern reduces potentially the loads at this impact, and especially the, the rate of rise of that load at impact. There are other things that changes. It actually uh, produces higher loads in the Achilles tendon. So there's a trade-off between this, we're losing the impact peak and, and, and Achilles tendon forces. But it is thought to be, a, and uh, correctly, a, a softer landing with this uh, four-foot running pattern. So 
Way to go, Hannah. How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. She could go forever. Okay. All right. Thanks. We'll slow her down.